okay and welcome back to Queen channel so have you ever stuck in with modeling and uh, trying to get the right model with the most details for your render so today i'm gonna show you how to get free models for blender and seven websites so first is 3d sky 3d sky is most famous for its edge models just like interior in and exterior as well this is the page of 3d sky so scroll down you can see the uh, models are listed in uh, various categories and then you can choose any one of them if you want to find a chair you can click the chair here and it will redirect to the chair models here please pay attention to the options here you must choose the om or the free ones so both are free models that's all the models that you can download for free but first let's create an account here it requires you to create an account in order to download the models each account can download up to three models a day keep that in mind so this is a nice model for the summer so i'm gonna download it by clicking to this one and i'm gonna save it here and click save and then you open it up extract it and then you can have the other files the texture and the preview render and it depends on what models you are trying to download it will it will show the platform of the models is 3d max 3d max and obj which means you can uh, use it with 3d max or use the obj file in your blender project so let's go to the second website it is cg trader so CG Trader is another sort of the high quality model that you can download and I'll focus on architecture here or interior or exterior or you can browse it here it has many categories just like interior here and then you should check on the free option or Furthermore, you can check on the format if you prefer FPS or OBJ. Click on it in the license. The license of the, these websites are usually royalty free. In CG Trader, requires you to have an account too. I will go to the furniture and download some simple one. Click on the free and then you have some furnitures. Okay, like take this chair click on the free download here and wait for 20 seconds then it will be ready to download okay the waiting is done then you can have the raw file here go to download the next website is Toro Squid which is pretty famous this is one of the biggest source of models and it has some free models too I'm gonna head into 3D models and I'm gonna choose furnishing for furniture or something inside your house okay and you got plenty plenty of models here but you want to check the price is usually I would choose min 0 and max 0 and hit apply so it will sort out the, all the free model and then you can download it and it requires you to have an account as well so click on it and i'm gonna save it by clicking on the download button and then you will go to the page called my products and you can download the fbx or the max file and texture i'm gonna use the fbx and the texture and then let's see what we have here so the quality of the texture is pretty good and i think it will be game ready so in the uh, turbo squid you can have 
all the views of the model and uh, the wireframe as well yeah it's pretty more information than the other other websites okay the next one is BlendSwap BlendSwap is more familiar with Blender users and uh, since it provides free blend model which means it's uh, usually cycles ready or EV ready so just hit on blend and choose categories I'm gonna choose furniture let's because I'm into furniture and you can see since it's a uh, free models and oh it's had the toilet chair nice you can download the toilet chair here or follow my tutorial so um, in the blend swap usually the model is not in so good quality because it's free and it's from many user uploaded and it had variety kind of quality but usually in my case it usually don't have that much of a details but it has something like this which is pretty good okay let's check on june 5 2020 yeah i think my my tutorial is before that maybe he did follow my tutorial don't you think yeah in blend swap you can download this so it's downloading the blend file uh, and it already include the the texture i think because it's all packed into the blend file okay the next one is blender friendly chocofer store page so chocofer is a website that uh, create all the access for uh, for blender mostly for Atrish and yeah chocofer got some free models too go to the product and then you can browse into uh, many kind of categories many bunch of furniture goods and you can have an option to uh, download some free models too yeah it got some free access and free bunch not just the model it can provide material and IS shader for lighting and etc so I'm gonna download the uh, free furniture here I'm gonna hit download and okay yeah we will see it later okay next is the free 3d.com free 3d is a source of free model and some paid model as well all we have to do is you know we have an option to choose the blender models or other models so blender models is made for just blender and, and it can uh, provide the blend file but in my case i'm gonna just choose the uh, free 3d models and then i can import to blender if i want so when, when you click on the free 3d models that will it will miss with some uh, paid one just pay attention to the the price here uh, if it's free then yeah you can download it immediately but if it's as a price then you have to buy it so i'm gonna download this one which is free which is nice i think quite high poly i'm gonna download it and then the here are the files that you uh, want to download i usually choose the fps file and remember to download the texture file as well or your model will become purely white okay the last website that provide the 3d model is sketchfab so as far as i know sketchfab is founded by the guy made blender nation website yeah i'm gonna hit to explore and then you you can have some category here yeah furniture architecture music so on so i'm gonna explore the furniture and in the filter you want to choose the downloadable if it's downloadable then you can download it for free okay the lamp is pretty nice here then i'm gonna scroll it down and you can see the button that say download 3d model here you're clicking on it and you have the original format which 
which is the FPS I'm gonna hit download so uh, after we download on the files on the free models how to use it in blender if you download the blend file from blend swap or shocker or uh, free 3d with the uh, blend file so, so you can you can open it immediately this one is a little couch that I download from blend, blend swap and then when you open it it already loaded in and ready to render just put it in your scenes and then you're good to go okay it's pretty nice huh or it with choker fur since it's a bunch you can uh, you have more than just one model so I'm gonna open the launch here yeah and you have this model ready to render yes open another one is pretty good I would say so or if you download from another source uh, just like 3d sky sketch fab turbo suite or C trader then you have to import it into blender manually create a new scenes new blender file and I'll go to the file and import and FPS or OBJ is depend on the file that you downloaded so I'm gonna go to 3 uh, sky and uh, I'm gonna import this this chair model so it will come with the OBJ file so I'm gonna go to blender and hit import away from OBJ here then I direct into the, the file here and import it so in my experience the uh, obj file is usually in the wrong scale but fps file is totally fine so the chair is uh, usually about one meter height but let's check this one this one is 32, 32 meters height so I'm gonna scale it down uh, I usually scale it with S and 0 0.01 and see now it's, it's too low I'm gonna scale it like three times so okay it really depends on uh, your scale and then you scale it down a little bit or higher a little bit so it, yeah uh, please just remember that the obj file is usually in wrong scale and you have to scale it down before doing anything so since the scale is pretty accurate i'm gonna do the uh, shader the material for it so basically i have two shader one is the fabric and the second is the leg so i'm gonna change this one to shader editor and I'm gonna use the texture image texture and I'm open the map folder here and you have the jungle fabric to the material preview that you can see it's pretty accurate right that because the uh, the model here is already unwrapped let's see the UV editor and then you can see the yeah it's already unwrapped but now it's overlap but it's okay uh, you can you can go to the UV and park island to to lay out on the uh, UV island but in this case we don't need to care about that just the uh, the UV is correct so I will leave the second one is the wood material is already unwrapped too so let's put another image texture here and choose the wood here so you can see the wood grain is in the right direction okay and uh, we have a fabric fold for the for the fabric so we're gonna put it in the no more no more input here I'm gonna open the vector bump to the no more and then I'm gonna copy this one by shift D and open the fabric fold 
put the color into the height and then you can see now I'm gonna put it out first and then you can see it had the fold here I'm gonna decrease the strain of the fold by 0.2 and this then by 0.1 so the uh, fold now is very subtle it's gonna put the color back on and for the roughness I think it's okay now it has more natural look of the chair fabric and now it, this is for the wood yeah this is the wood material but we don't have the wood bump we don't have the wood bump texture for it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose vector bump put into the normal and the color I put into the uh, the height input at the bump and then I decrease the uh, strain and the distance okay this one is pretty good and then it's gonna render perfectly with this shader okay what I have fits here it doesn't have any uh, shader so I'm going to the shader editor and uh, create a shader And there you go. We have put all the texture into the uh, shaders here, and now we have a plan pot. I'm gonna save it. And call it plan pot, I, so I can use it in my project. So, what do you think about this tutorial? Is it helpful? And I hope you learn something. I hope you can find yourself some source of free models to use in your project okay that is for today guys and i hope you like this video thank you for joining me today thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next time